Hello everybody, today is July 6, 2013 and it is day 4, 14, 15, day 16, day 16? I want to say it's day 16 of the HCG program. Um, right now at this very moment, I'm having a little bit of a struggle. I had lunch about two hours ago and I probably need to have a piece of fruit and I really don't need to eat dinner till about 6. But I went and got pizza for the kids and just the smell of it has got my brain already imagining what it will taste like in my mouth. So I just ate a breadstick and I'm hoping that if I eat a piece of fruit it'll tide me over because all I want to do right now is tear into a piece of pizza. And I'm actually imagining tearing into that piece of pizza and what it's going to taste like. Um, I have been having more often than not hunger cravings which I didn't really experience like the first week and a half or so but towards the latter part of the second week I really seem to be um, having more issues with hunger and I don't know if it's because I'm actually hungry or it's just because when there's certain foods around it just triggers me wanting to eat um, in response to this Dr. Johnson did um, go ahead and prescribe me some appetite suppressants it's, they're called super HCA and they're not supposed to give me the same jittery feeling that some of the stronger appetite suppressants do um, my plan was to not use them at all, but in light of the cravings that I'm having, I decided to go ahead and start taking them. And I take them 30 minutes before each meal. So it's funny, when I took one this morning, well this afternoon, about 30 minutes before I ate lunch, it killed the hunger craving and about two hours passed before I realized I hadn't eaten lunch. So um, as much as I'd like to say that I'm superwoman and was going to be able to get through this without any sort of intervention, that just is not the case. Um, I'm only going to take them when I need them. Um, but I can tell I'm probably going to need one um, in about an hour or so. But I want to stick to it. I don't want to cheat because I've just been really, really excited about the results. And I was going to show you why. Because um, the dress that I have on today is a dress that I bought actually last year. And when I bought it last year, it was kind of snug like this. And now, as you can tell, it's just kind of hanging off me in the front and it's actually big in the back to where it's kind of hanging down so I have to keep pulling it back up and I wore this dress a couple of weeks ago and it didn't fit like this so I whenever I want to delve in to those cravings for the junk food I have to keep remembering that I'm really liking what I'm seeing so I'm gonna stick with it I want to have the pizza so just pray that I'm able to get through this day without cheating because it really makes me happy when I don't cheat. And I think I cheated a little bit yesterday. I think I had like a couple of spoonfuls of macaroni and cheese. I realize cheese is a big weakness for me. I love, 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 love cheese. But I think I'm going to love my new emerging body better. So I'm just super excited that this dress is actually kind of loose now. Um, it's even loose up here. Like I so said, this used to be kind of form-fitting. So I just have to remember the bigger picture. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it moving, go take my appetite suppressant pill in about probably 30, 40 minutes, and um, just keep on with my day. Um, I guess that's it for today, really. Like I said, today is kind of hard, so I just need to mark this date for the annals. July 6, 2013 was just a rough day for me um, for the HCG program, but I realized, you know, nothing's ever going to be perfect, and I'm not perfect, so of course I'm going to have imperfect days. So that's it for me today. I'll check in again tomorrow. Smooches!